Hey guys, everything new under the sun. Well, this is a perilous tale of a failed hard drive and no clean room to repair it in. So I got this hard drive uh, kind of last effort to uh, fix it or get data off it. Uh, this is from a, a friend who uh, wasn't interested in paying necessarily $4,000 to get this hard drive or get to the data recovered off it. So I offered uh, to take, take a chance at it and uh, try and swap it out. I did try this on two different hard drives. The issue was when I first took it off was that the head on the hard drive um, on one of the heads had come off. So it had, it had whacked something, you know, it, it had a head crash basically and knocked the head right off uh, the, the spindle. And uh, not the spindle, but the arm. And so it was waving around, scratching the disc. So, uh, you know, the option is to, to uh, get a, a replacement arm, aperture, arm, armature, armature, I think and uh, swap that in but I found it was easier uh, maybe it's not easier but I, th I thought it was easier to, to swap the discs to swap the discs you basically put um, scotch tape and I saw this on who is it Lewis, Re Lewis Russman's, Russman's uh, YouTube channel and uh, he had a guy but you need, you're supposed to have a clean hood and a, and a zero pressure hood uh, so that no dust gets in there because any sort of dust that gets in there uh, is going to cause issues and of course I, I wasn't in a clean room by any chance um, but I was able to get it successfully to after the I went through one hard drive and uh, that wasn't quite the same even though it was the same making it wasn't quite the same part number so I failed on that but we got another hard drive and it was the exact same and I got it spinning up but it still wouldn't work um, so whatever whatever reason there was something wrong with the disc or something um, although I, I I took the discs out later and I didn't see anything wrong with them so I'm gonna s still uh, I may still attempt it again, um, it, but buying each new hard drive to come up with donor parts uh, to use to do the uh, platter swap or, or the uh, armature swap, etc., that gets expensive because you're talking, you know, 40 bucks plus shipping, uh, you know, 60 bucks at least for each hard drive. This, this particular one was a 2.5 inch, so I don't know if that's any harder or, uh, or not as hard as a 3.5, maybe a bit harder just because the components are smaller. Um, but I had a little bit of fun with it anyways, um, just to see what I could do. And I still have it to see if I can maybe swap it out. If I get another 2.5 inch Hitachi hard drive that is the same. This particular one had two platters, uh, but only three, is it three? I think three heads on it. Whereas kind of the normal dual platter hard drive has four heads because you, you uh, read and write the top and the bottom of each platter. In this case it wasn't. So um, the, the Perilous Tale, I wasn't able to recover data off this. I was able to recover some photos, however, off the off the uh, the friend's memory card um, that uh, she thought were deleted, uh, of course, at one point as well. So, anyways, uh, I I figured you might be interested in hearing the tale of this and see an attempted platter swap uh, between 2.5 inch hard drives. It's definitely doable. You need you just need a few uh, tools like torque screw screwdrivers, and I have a full set of kind of uh, IT technician screwdriver sets and stuff. Um, the one thing I was lacking was a clean room. And I'm sure I could get the data off this if I had a few more hard drives. I watched one hard drive video where they used four heads. They went through four heads before they finally got a head that would read it and wouldn't stop, would not fail anymore. And so I just went through really one um, because the first one was a hard, wrong hard drive. So I really only tried one uh, head replacement and failed at that. I was watching the video where at a professional. Um, uh, hard disk repair, is a disk saver or something like that. And like I say, they went through four different heads before they were able to get data off it. So I'm, you know, if I tried a couple more times on it, I might be able to get data off it as well, which I'd love to do. But I just don't have the money myself to, to do it, and and the the friend didn't want to spend any more money on it. But uh, anyways, I, I thought I'd tell you that story. Um, it was interesting. Uh, I'd be, you know, if you have any questions about this, I'd be interested to share what experience I've gleaned from this. Um, the one, the one big thing I note is that if you're taking off the the top uh, metal cover, there is a hidden screw underneath the sticker which screws into the armature. And before I was just kind of ripping that off, but um, um, I found with the, the 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 one that actually was correct, the hard drive that was correct, I had learned by that point that oh, you can take that screw and just take that plate out without bending it to pieces. So uh, something you learn, and uh, certainly a clean room. Would be necessary though. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. If you're if you're desperate, you could probably get away with it. I, I had a air blaster, compressed air blaster, to get rid of dust. Um, but I think another a couple of 
um, armatures or, or heads. Uh, if I had a couple more to, to try, I, I might be able to get something. But uh, like I say, that would probably be another $150 worth of hardware. Um, and you may never get anything out of it. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I thought I'd tell you that story. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.